what's up, TC? Yo, I love this energy today. For those of you who don't remember my name at all, I am JT. I am our worship director person here, handles high school, middle school, and elementary chapels. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Hey, so if you guys didn't know already, today we are doing one of my favorite things. We have a worship chapel today. So who's excited for worship chapel today? Awesome. So uh, the cool thing about worship chapel is that I got to bring in a team of friends that I have met over the years in my career playing music. So I wanted to introduce them to you so you guys just kind of know who you're worshiping with worshiping with today, okay? So I'm gonna say someone's name and you guys are gonna go, hi, whatever their name is, okay? All right, we're gonna start down this way. I have TC alumni, Sydney Taylor. Whoa, hey. All right, this is my friend, Matt. Say hi, Matt. All right, and this is my friend, Hannah. Say hi, Hannah. All right, and this is Living Words worship pastor, David. Say hi, David. All right, and then I got my friend here, Ryan, on bass. Say hi, Ryan, yeah. And then, fairly new TC employee, James Hart. Say hi, James. Yeah, come on. Uh, and I have my friend here, Preston. Say hi, Preston. Hi, Preston. And then on acoustic, I have my friend, Chloe. Say hi, Chloe. Hi, and then the man himself, big dog, Ray. Say hi, Ray. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to be leading you guys into a time of worship today. Um, one of the really cool things, like I mentioned, is that I have met all of these people at many different places. Um, if you guys didn't know that throughout TC, staff, students, and, you know, teachers, everybody, that we have about in the midst of our community, a, a, like close to 100 churches represented here today. So that is an incredible thing, at least to me. My, my passion in my entire life was, I don't just wanna be bound to one place. I, like this should spread to where you're at. So whatever church you go to, hopefully you take the same energy, the things that you're learning here, and go infecting the people around you. So one of the cool things is that up here, I'm pretty sure we have at least like five churches represented within the worship team alone. So yeah, that's exciting for us. Yeah, and so a lot of you are getting, like especially seniors, you guys are getting ready to go to college and you know start your own kind of journeys with your walk with Christ. And th this is honestly like, this is what community outside of TC is supposed to look like. I could just say, hey, I'm only gonna do stuff with my church. Shh, yeah. I always wanted to do that, that's fun. <laughs> um, but like, I don't wanna just have things stay here, right? Like I wanna make sure that you guys understand that community is not just TC. Community is wherever God takes you. So it's up to you guys to start building community, not just in here, but with your church friends, your friends outside of here and everything like that. So um, I'm super excited today. I'm gonna to go ahead and hand it off to Naya and we're gonna kinda of hop into things, cool? All right, go ahead, Naya. Okay, so the first song we'll be starting with is Rest On Us. Worship has always been a way that I connect with God, but something that I really struggle with is prayer. It's something that I do before I go to bed, before I eat, but anything else to that extent, I don't normally do. But it's something that I wanna work on, and I think that's something that we can all relate to. So today, I want us to look at these lyrics of Rest On Us as a prayer to God. So, calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you fill the room, you're here, and I know you're moving. I'm here, and I know you'll feel me. Worship is a choice. We can choose to worship, or we can choose to close that door of opportunity, falling into the distractions around us, prohibiting us from feeling the presence of God. This is one of our last two chapels, and I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to regret not giving God the full glory that he deserves because I'm afraid of what other people think of me as I worship. So let's slow down and worship. Rest 
rest on us as the spirit was moving over the water spirit come and move over us oh come rest on us so come rest on us so come So, Jairo, the song coming up is a powerful, uplifting song, speaking about the faithfulness and the goodness of God. The lyrics are a reminder how God is always for us, and no matter what we're going through, He's still with us. The song titled Jaira, uh, for me personally, I didn't know what Jaira meant, so I tried to look into it. Uh, Jaira is from the Old Testament, and it's uh, Jehovah Jaira, which means the Lord will provide. So, He's our provider. As we listen to this song, we are reminded that God is our provider, he's our healer, and he's our sustainer. He is the one who gives us strength when we are weak, and who is one who comforts us in times of trouble. The song encourages us to trust in God's unfailing love and rest in the knowledge he bestows upon us. And a verse that goes along with this is Philippians 4.13, I'm sure you guys all know it pretty well, um, that we can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It is by focusing, focusing on God that we preserve, persevere in any circumstance God provides us. My brother Matthew is figuring this out firsthand and he'll explain that. Yeah, so our focus as Christians is so hard. It's so hard. The ability to disregard the devil's distractions in our life is so challenging. These distractions that the devil sends our way are seen as good, bad, ugly, and everything in between. And many times we don't notice these distractions in our life. These can be good things. But I knew that my relationship wasn't, with the Lord wasn't where it needed to be. So I, I decided I needed to take note of these distractions. Last Friday when Jay spoke, he said that change starts in the heart. And it does. So that Friday, uh, before we played our game, I decided to pray, as I always do. As every athlete always does before they step on the field. They say their normal prayer, Lord, I pray that you protect us, protect the, the other team, pray that we play for you, but I felt this nudge on my heart to say something else, to say, Lord, I pray that I will love the things that you love and hate the things that you hate. I pray that I will love how you love, and if there's anything in my life that takes me away from you, Lord, I pray that you take it out of my life. In that game, soon after, about 30 minutes later, sliding in a second, take out my ankle and I'm out for about a week. I'm sitting there on the bench, contemplating if this is really what I'm thinking it is, if this is God. God, is this what you're saying? I'm putting baseball above you? I'm going back and forth with this for about a week, oh, for a couple days. And then another thing happens to me that day. I lose my phone. 
for about two days. I couldn't find it anywhere. It was just in the couch, but I swear I couldn't find it. I'm, I'm telling you, I looked there. Um, so I was contemplating going back and forth. God, is this really what you're telling me? Then we went to church that Sunday and my pastor said something that I'll never forget. He said, the devil does not care what you worship as long as it's not God. He can take these good things in our life, these sports, our relationships, our friendships, and twist them and turn them into distractions from the God. So as Christians, we all want God in our life. We all want to be close with God, but we want God to come into our busy schedule. We have sports, then we gotta hang out with friends, then we gotta do homework, then we gotta take a shower, and then it's time for bed. And we want God to intrude into our busy schedule. But God's not gonna do that. He's gonna sit at the door and, and knock. He's gonna wait at that door and knock and say, I'm here, I'm here. Until we open that door, everything will stay the same. But when we open that door, our life changes. <clears throat> and until we say this prayer, I pray that I love the things you love and I hate the things you hate and take me away from the things that take me away from you. Our life will stay the same. But when we pray this prayer, the outcome might not be what we expect. It might not be something we love in that moment. I love baseball and I didn't want that to go away. But I had to put God first and notice that I was putting baseball, this thing that is so good above God. And, and then we, we look at this verse, John 13, seven, and it says, Jesus replied, you do not realize what I am doing, but later you will understand. And we have to trust that God's plan for us is so much better than any pain or suffering that we were going through now. So I challenge you guys in this chapel, to, to, you may not understand the why, right now, but I challenge you to worship with your whole heart, the creator of the universe. I, just, I challenge you guys to set aside any distractions. Maybe your friends are chit-chatting in your ear, or maybe you're the one talking to your friends, being that distraction. I challenge you to set aside those distractions and give it all to God. Yes, distractions is not what we need. Uh, we need to focus on God. So I, uh, can you try something out for me? So hold your finger out in front of your face and Notice how, focus on your finger, focus. And notice how everything out in the background is blurry, uh, things might double. And just like our finger blurs everything in the background, focusing on things in our life can also cause us to lose sight and focus of um, everything else. But when we focus too much on our own abilities and the things that we have in our life, we can lose sight of God's provision uh, and miss out on the blessings he has for us. Um, so uh, may we have a mindful, be mindful of all the distractions and temptations in our lives and lead us away from, uh, lead us into God's provision and that we can seek God's presence in all things that we do. And all the background distractions are ignored and insignificant compared to God. And that we can experience him as uh, Jireh, the true God, because he, he is our provider. So when you're going to the song, close your eyes, think of Jireh, our provider.
more than you ask, think, or imagine. According to His power, working in us, is more than enough. Come on. Just more than you ask, think, or imagine. There's something that you have to believe today. what? And I will be content in every circumstance cause Jaira you are enough. Good plans for me. If I 
is champion and I wanted to share a few lyrics and kind of explain them and how I feel about them with you I've tried so hard to see it took me so long to believe it that you choose someone like me to carry your victory I can never see why someone who turned away from the Lord and never really prioritized him could be brought to glory 
I was content in the familiarity of keeping God at a distance. Yet, he still took my broken self and brought me to victory in his name. Another lyric, you are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. He saved me from my battles even when I surely thought I was doomed. But he continued to fight for me. He takes down my greatest fears, worries, and stressors, and even enemies. With him as my rock, I am invincible. Another line says, I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated with the one who has conquered it all. My doubts, fears, and shortcomings don't define me. God does. He crowns me with the confidence that he will send me through trials and tribulations safely. If I'm doubting myself and even my love and commitment to the Lord, I do know with full certainty that God is always with me. I may doubt myself, but I never doubt the love of God. He sees my struggle and conquers it to raise me to glory in his name. And lastly, I wanna share, when I lift my voice and shout, every wall comes crashing down. When I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority Jesus has given me. In this, I'm telling the world that Jesus, what Jesus has done for me. He continues to deliver me and he continues to face my giants and as a result walls are broken down and everything is changed when we speak of the transformation he's done we're speaking of the miracles he's made in our lives so as we go into champion think of how he is truly our champion
my voice and shout every wall comes crashing down I have the authority that Jesus has given me and when I open up my mouth miracles start breaking out I have the authority come on y'all Our champion is good, right? But what if you're here today and maybe that's not what you feel? Maybe you don't feel like he is. It feels like he's everybody else's champion and maybe not yours. You know, I've been there. Um, and what I'm learning as I get older is that a sacrifice of praise is what, I'm, is what he's looking for from us today. And what, what he's looking for in you, in your life, is a sacrifice of praise. Giving him praise because he's worthy of, of all the praise and all the honor and all the glory because of his mercies that he's given us is what Romans 12, 1 says. And so when we go back into this, I want you to try something today maybe that you haven't done before. I think it's good for us to be uncomfortable. So if you've never raised your hands in worship before, or maybe you haven't sang out before, um, maybe I, I want you to try those things today. Is that okay? Because he's worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. And just like this bridge says, that the walls will come down in your life. Walls of depression, walls of anxiety, walls of pain, walls of hurt will come down in this room today. You don't have to get touched out there. Come on. He's available today in this room. Come on, sing this out. Say. The when I lift my Jesus came. Oh, come on today. I, I invite you to open up your mouth. So when I open up my mouth, the what? Miracles start breaking now. I have the authority. Oh, come on. Come on. We can do better than that. Just lift him up today. Say. Then when I lift
Every battle. Every battle. Sing, I am. I am who you say I am. And you crown me. I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated by the power. By the power of your name, I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated. Let's conquer it all. Come on, make some noise for your champion today. Come on, if you know who he is. this morning.
if you don't remember, my name's David. Um, we got a new song for you. Is that all right? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Look, we ain't gonna do it though if y'all if y'all don't move, because that's gonna be weird. All right. So we need y'all. Do y'all mosh pit? Do we mosh pit? Is that okay in, in school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do y'all do y'all mosh right here? This looks like a real good group. Is that all right? Maybe over there. Is there anybody over there that can start something crazy? Man, we gonna teach this song to you real quick, and it's just gonna go just like this. Let's go! 
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I want to, I want you to hear something real quick, real quick. I don't know if you caught something in the course of this. And I don't even, JT, I don't even think this was like intentionally planned. But just the, like the, the lyrics of these songs speaking that like, God, you are enough. And God, like these things in a world that we're constantly told you're not enough. Right? Like, no, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. We can sing the songs, but will you let it hit your heart? Will you actually believe it? Yes, sing it with passion, right? But believe it, let it hit you deep in a way that you can go into, because this is what happens when it starts to hit your heart in that way, y'all get bold. Y'all jump around like crazy because you don't care anymore. Right, like students, brothers, sisters. Man, that is a word we need to like, not only hear and sing, but we need to let that internalize right now. And when that starts to happen, and it's happening, that's what's amazing. When it starts to happen, man, you see seeing God move, you experience the presence of God in ways that you have never before. A community comes alive that brings life and healing into a broken world and in broken communities. You start to see those walls come down. You gotta, you gotta rest in that word that God is enough and that he loves you. And as a result, God, just like Isaiah, I'm, I'm a man of unclean lips and God purifies us in his, God, go send me. I'm ready. Send me into that world. That's our, that is our prayer now. JT, can we run back praises one more time? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's got to, hey, right here, Jay. It's got to be loud. It's got to be loud. Y'all know what to do. We need them voices. We need y'all's voices. Oh, voices. Not in a weird way, but we need y'all's voices. We... Run it. Let's go. You ready?
Steve, will you give it up for this crew up here leading us in worship today? Hey, yo, we love you. We love you. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make this as simple and easy as possible. We've got a lot of folks in here. We had a blast today. We're going to keep doing this more often. we got guys, high school, we got one more chapel. We're going to bring it next week. One more chapel. Um, ju uh, junior high through uh, 11th grade. Junior high through 11th grade. If you'll go ahead and start making your way out, just kind of carefully. 12th seniors, I need to meet with you real quick in the lobby. Real quick in the lobby, seniors. Elementary, just hang tight for a second, okay? 